Hi, my name is Daniel Gobriel, and I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I go to St. Pichoy in Nashville, and this is a text message. Um, well, I have a friend. Uh, his name is Krolos Allah, and uh, he, he went. He has he has been in a really bad accident, and then uh, he got hurt really bad, and uh, he broke two legs and a rib, I think. And then uh, he, he was always he was not close to God. He would like to. He would never pray at night before he went to sleep or not go to church, but. Uh, he was supposed to heal in five years, but uh, he healed in one. And uh, he started getting really close to God and started praying much more. Started going to church a lot, a lot. He barely used to never go, and that's the message. <laughs> if I were to, to send a message to somebody, it, it would be my father. Because I never was able to, to thank him as much as, as I would to be right now. Throughout my whole life, I, I always, I never really understood what what he would he what he has done for me when i was a child i like i always thought whenever he'd take away my toys when i was a kid or whenever he'd take away my games or or anything i'd always think he'd hate me and I'd be like dad what's wrong why why are you taking this away from me but now i understand that that everything's for the better that when he just wants the best for me and he he goes to work every day and he he works long hours, long days throughout the nights just to feed me. And I really and I really can't say like how much I, I could thank him for that. He's always been there for me. Whenever I had like troubles or anything, I've been there. Whenever I can't tell my mom about stuff, I just go straight to my dad. And he'll he he promises me, he's like, Oh I got you. You're you I got you, I'll keep everything, I'll keep your secrets. Me and him have have like a special bond, like we could tell each other anything we want and I could trust him for sure. His dream his whole life was for me to go to a good college, a great college and be a successful doctor. He's always wanted me to be one of those and I will not let him down. So in the message, I will tell him that. I will tell him that I am thanking him for everything he has done. I'm thanking him for his long hours and that I will be a successful adult and thank you very much, Dad, for everything he has done for me. My message is to learn from your mistakes, learn from uh, from your mistakes, if you do a mistake, uh, make sure that you don't do it again and that you uh, you know what you did in the first place so you don't do it again. Also learn from other people's mistakes. When you go out there in the world and you see other people do something, uh, don't don't try try to learn from their mistakes. See what their consequences in because you don't want to learn. You don't want to be in their same situation, be in their same consequences. My name is Mina Hanna and um, I want to send a message to myself because it is very cr crucial um, to always remind myself that which path to go, which which uh, road I'm going to take in my life. Either I'll stick with God and walk in His ways, or I'll go with the Satan. There's no in-between. So I want to say to myself and remind myself always to always make the good decisions in my life, choose my friends very carefully, so I'll be able to walk in the path with God and to always have love for Christ uh, even though I face hardships in my life and I believe that it is for my benefit at the end. I want to send a text to my friend so-and-so because before he started using drugs he always used to say hey let's go to church, let's go to Tezbaha, let's go hang out together, let's go to Bible study but now every time I tell him let's go to church, let's go to Tezbaha, he's always high on something and he forgets and he tells me I'm busy, I can't, I have something to do. And I just want him to start coming back with me to church and remember those days how happy he was. Now he's depressed, always anxious. And whenever we used to go to church, he was always excited, fun loved, and he used to be with everyone. And I just want him to remember those days and return to those days. So my message is, welcome back to your real life, the life with God, the life with your friends, not the life with this world and the life with drugs. And we hope you stay with us and stay with the true happiness because all these drugs only grant you happiness just for a single moment. But you know where to find the real happiness. Welcome back. I'm here to send a message out to the smokers. My dad was a very kind, my, very kind man. He grew up in the church, but he had this very bad habit of smoking. So a couple mo weeks ago, about a month, he had a heart attack. Ten minutes more, he would have been dead. He got to the hospital, they performed open heart surgery right away. There was no question about it, they stopped what they were doing and they gave him open heart and saved his life. 
I want I want that to be you. Please stop smoking if you do, and go back to the church. Because when you smoke, you get farther away from God, because that's not a godly habit. Get back to church and keep praying. God, I want to send a message to you. The question was, why? I tried to commit suicide three times. And God kept me for each time. I've always looked under my feet, look at the circumstances. I didn't like what I was doing. I didn't like the life I was living. But still, God had a plan. I didn't know at the time why he kept me for this long. But now I found out. God has a different plan for each one of us. Each one of us goes through a phase in life. All I want to say is, I didn't make it because I was strong. I didn't make it because I was smart. And I didn't make it because I was wise. I made it because God's grace kept me alive. He wanted me to live. He wanted me to do something different for myself. He wanted me to, do, to be a different in somebody else's life. So the message I want to send to God, I just want to thank Him. I want to thank Him so much for everything that He has done for me. And I want to thank Him for keeping me alive.